Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to your channel. What I'm doing right now is uh, I got up this morning and one of my batteries is kind of out of sync with the other ones. I have 12 24 volt batteries, as everybody knows, and then I've got them series together to make six 48 volt batteries. Okay, and one out of the 12 is reading at 25% and the rest of them are still reading 75 and above, 75% and above. So really what, I think I just need to uh, maybe top balance that battery with that one battery and get it back to where it should be with the rest of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook that one battery. I'm going to, well, I have to turn two batteries off. So I'll switch those two batteries off and I'll unhook them from the bus bars. And then I'll hook up my little charger. I'll show you all this in just a second. Uh, I'll hook my little 24 volt charger up and charge that one battery by itself. I have the, the big charge burner for the 48 volt system that I can charge all the batteries with. So once I get uh, this one battery back up to where it needs to be, at least 75% with the rest of them, then I can go in and, uh, well, I mean, they're charging now because it's daylight now, of course, but but then I can go in and hook the other charger up and top them completely off and, you know, have everything topped and matched. So anyway, that's uh, one thing I definitely need to do is get that one battery back up with the rest of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to unhook the one from the bus bars and then uh, I'll, hook, I'll show you my little charger that I have for the 24 volts. Yeah, all this stuff comes from Signature Solar, and uh, I'll leave some links in the description down below for the chargers, the charge verters, the batteries, whatever you need. If you need anything from Signature Solar, you know, you can use my links and get yourself a discount and all that stuff. And oh, and by the way, check out the hat. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to get in here. All righty. I know it's kind of kind of dark in here, but see, right here, this one battery right here, is blinking at 25% and below right here. If you look at the rest of them, three bars, 75% or better on the rest of these batteries. Just this one battery right here is low out of all 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't turn the power off. I cannot turn all the batteries off. And trust me, you should, if you, if you do this, you should kill everything. You know, uh, turn the power off on all your stuff because, you know, it could shock you, you know, it could hurt you pretty bad, I don't know, but I've never been shocked by it, so I may be this time, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unhook it from the bus bars right here, on both sides. What I was talking about series together, so this is a 24 volt, 24 volt, and I got it series together right here to make one 48 volt battery. So, basically that's, one, say one and two is one 48 volt battery at 200 amp hours, 100 each. So it's technically a 200 amp hour battery 24 volt so when you series them together like that you get one 48 volt battery at 200 amps you know what i'm saying 200 amp hours okay so <clears throat> let me get my tools and i'll unhook i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is kill the power on these two right here okay let me do that Okay, now you see the power is off on these two batteries right here. Okay, let me get my tools and I'll unscrew this in here. I want to unhook them from the bus bar and then I'll hook my charger. I'll show you my charger. Yeah, I probably wouldn't touch nothing else with a screwdriver. This is not the safest thing to be doing, just so you know. Because that is, that is live right there. Well, this ain't, this is not, but that bus bar is. So what I'm going to do is I'll have to put it over here out of the way. Save my boat. Same way over here. Take the ground off. Okay. Alright guys, now these two batteries are still together. There's a 48 volt system here. 48 volt battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this one off. I'm going to turn this one back on after I hook the truck battery cables to it. Okay. Right here is my 24 volt battery charger that I use just for the 24 volt system. And I've showed you guys the charge verter before, but this is the 24 volt version. I'm going to hook this up and I'll show you what it does. All right. It's hooked up. I'll get to the positive, just the lead coming off that one battery and the negative of that battery. I'll turn this battery on. 
and shackling up. Can't really tell it much that, but okay. It is charging. What I'm trying to do, guys, is I want to top balance this battery right here. And then I'll probably go back and top balance this battery here by itself too after I do this one. So either way. And this is also, just so you know, this charge vert, this little charger is plugged into the house AC. It's actually running off solar power too. I don't have a generator running or nothing like that. It's just running off of everything else with that disconnected. So I'm saying so anyway, it's all kind of a continuous circle here. Now just quick update. It is between 25 and 50% now because the second light's blinking. And once that's steady. The third light will start blinking. That means it's between 50 and 75%. Okay, when that fourth light starts blinking, it means it's between 75 and 100% charged. Alrighty. And as you can see, the rest of them are still 75 at 75% right there. Here's a better look at this little charger I'm using. It's 24 volt. It's for LiPo 4 batteries. It's a high frequency charger that you can get at Signature Solar. I will leave links to it down in the description. Uh, it has a cooling fan on the back. It's a uh, like aluminum case. You can mount it, it's got mountain holes here, you can mount it, but I don't, I just leave it because I hardly ever use it. In all honesty, this is the first time in over a year that I've even got this thing out, so. All right, there's the back side of it. That's the little fan and the heat sinks on the back of it. You can see the fan running, it runs all the time when you got it on. So it's basically plug it in, plug this cord in the wall, and then hook this side to your batteries. Right there's the negative. Right here's the positive on this line here. I just got it, I didn't want to hook it up here. Just, I just done it that way. It's just charging this one battery, not the two. Cause it's just a 24 volt charger all right uh, a lot of people ask me why i didn't get 48 volt batteries is because i had a 24 volt system so my intention is i'll just use this you know make a 48 volt battery out of them i'm perfectly fine with that because you get the exact same amp hours if it was all 48 volt batteries my biggest thing is if i ever decide to go back 24 volt which i, I kind of like 24 volt a little bit better but uh, that's to be discussed i guess I could always, all I gotta do is unhook these jumper wires, and then I've got 2400 amp hours of batteries right here in these two boxes. So I have 12 24 volt batteries, and they're 200 amp hours each. So that would make 2400 amp hours if I went back 24 volt. So I mean, that's, that's pretty substantial, you know, storage there. As of right now, I have 1200 amp hours at 48 volt, which works flawless. It's the first time I've had to touch these batteries since I hooked that inverter up right there. And that was over a year ago. As you can hear the inverter fans on, so it'll be kind of loud. So anyway, this one here is completely charged. It's topped off at 100%. So now I'm charging this bottom one. See it blinking out there. I'm gonna top this one off. And then it's set here, be back to 100. As you can see, this bottom battery is 100% charged. All the lights are lit up. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this battery off. I'm gonna turn this back on just to see if it's changed any. So let's turn this battery here back on without touching anything. Okay, it's still showing 100% charged. It hasn't drained any by sitting here. This took probably four to five hours to do both of these, top balance both these batteries. I'm gonna turn it back off. Turn it back off now. Okay, now I can hook these back up to the bus bars, these here. I've always wondered if you could put uh, something I've never tried, you know, being on solar, this is something I've never tried, really never thought enough about doing it. But if you could plug a battery charger into the wall socket of a house that's completely run off solar and just have a continuous cycle of charging the batteries and using the batteries, you know what I mean? Like, but you can't plug a charger into, say, the same system that's running the house. You know what I mean? It's kind of different um, because you got to have, I really don't know the technical terms for it, but I have figured out a way to do that. Um, it, it, it may help some people, then again, it may not. Okay, say like my situation I'm doing right now, I'm unhooking, so I've got two battery banks, basically. Okay, if I had a way of switching this one completely off and just using this one, I could switch this one completely off, use my charger and plug it into the wall. That way those batteries are not powering the inverter that's powering my house, that's powering that outlet that's charging those batteries. So there, that is a, 
it is possible to do that because that's what I'm doing right now. So, if you could take, had like basically two, two battery banks, use one battery bank to power your house, have another one sitting idle that's switched off and not running your inverter, and have a battery charger hooked to that charging the batteries off of the current that you're using. As long as your, uh, I guess as long as your battery charger ain't pulling so many amps it depletes those batteries so fast, you know what I mean? So, what I'm doing right now, it is working because I am charging my batteries off a wow outlet inside this house that's 100% solar powered running off that inverter in there. So, I mean, just food for thought. I figured I'd throw that out there. If somebody wants to improve on it or shoot down the comments or they've tried it and it hadn't worked or it will work or and ever how you want to do it, I mean, but it is working. It is working, but I don't know on what scale it would work. But, you know, a future video, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Alrighty guys, all the batteries are top balanced, 100%. All batteries, right there, right there. So, hopefully that helps somebody on how to top balance your batteries. That's how I do it. Alright guys, that's going to do it. That's how I top balance our batteries. That's the only time I've had to do it within a little over a year now. So, anyway, they're all balanced now. We'll see what we get another year out of them before I can mess with them again. So, I mean, overall, I highly recommend them. I'll leave links to everything we use down in the description. Anybody wants to check them out? Everything's from Signature Solar, and uh, we will catch you on the next one.